All right, hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how I speed paint rusted metal, uh, in particularly brass, and then also iron or steel. I'm going to be using this uh, quick dark mechanicus conversion I made from a Talos paint maker, or a paint engine, excuse me. And we're going to start by airbrushing on nylac oxide onto where I want the brass. Uh, you can also use a mixture of cost plaster green and blue horror in this in a uh, equal parts uh, nylac oxide just doesn't brush on very easily uh, so if you don't have an airbrush you're better off using the mix uh, to get better coverage There's our finished uh, green patina color. And now we're going to start dry brushing on Rune Lord Brass. And this will, uh, basically what it's going to do is with the dry brush, it'll still show through some of the nylac oxide and will give off a very heavily corroded look. Um, I don't show it in the video, but it's a good idea to also go over this with known oil uh, just to help get some of the detail, some of the little tiny details uh, separated from the larger ones but it seems to provide more definition to the model uh, that's what I was looking for and uh, also this would work for like a coppery color it would, it would stand out a little bit better but I wanted brass for this miniature So I should point out, uh, if you're brushing and uh, your if your dry brush is having a hard time getting into places, just uh, just switch to a smaller brush. Like I, I know I'm using a, a rather large dry brush right now, but I do switch to a smaller little army painter brush to get those de uh, crevices behind the spikes on the armor plates. Now I'm going through, and this is uh, Medium Rust from AK Interactive. Or I'm sorry, uh, no, Medium Rust from Scale 75. And we're just going to thin this down, and we're going to place this everywhere where we want to have our iron or steel color. And then now we're going through and dry brushing with Iron Warriors. So it's really it's the same technique. Uh, it's just depending on what metal you're going for, you want to change the underpaint or the base color. And then we just dry brush our metallic over it. And it gives this really nice, really heavy, uh, corroded look to the armor. It fits very well with uh, Dark Mechanicus. You could always use this for uh, Death Guard, uh, anything Nurgle related really. Chaos Space Marines, depending on the Legion. So it's uh, it's very useful. And look at that, uh, not even five minutes in, 
Or metallics are done. So thank you all for watching. Uh, my Bellacore model should be in sometime within this week. So next week's video should be sort of a series of painting Bellacore.